The mystery of LPGA golfer Natalie Gulbis, where is she now? Natalie Gulbis announced that she would retire after the 2020 LPGA Tour season and she did. She hasn't had any tournament appearances since then and undertook a personal hiatus from the game. This sudden disappearance has left many fans and fellow golfers wondering where is Natalie Gulbis now? Well, in this video we'll tell you where she is and what she has been up to. Just stay turned. Gulbis was born and raised in the Sacramento, California area. She has a Latvian ancestry. Gulbis first became interested in the game when he was four years old. At the age of seven, she won her first tournament, and at the age of 10, she beat par. She played her first event on the LPGA Tour in 1997 as an amateur at the age of 14 with two handicap. Gulbis was the top player on the boys' golf team at Granite Bay High School and graduated at the age of 16. She later received a golf scholarship to the 2000 national champion, the University of Arizona, where she was teammates with freshman Lorena Ochoa. After a season in Arizona, Gulbis left college to turn professional in July 2001 at the age of 18. At the October 2001 LPGA Final Qualifying Tournament in Daytona Beach, Florida, she finished in third place to earn a card for the 2002 season. Natalie released a 2005 calendar, just before the 2004 US Women's Open, which featured her not only playing golf but also posing in a swimsuit. However, the United States Golf Association USGA didn't like the idea of it and it banned its sale at the event, deeming it inappropriate. Moreover, the calendar was publicly sold at Golf Canada. The USGA was criticized for overreacting. Gulbis also posed for the November 2004 FHM, which also allowed her to play golf at her home lake Las Vegas Resort, where she photographed the calendar. Gulbis said she likes to be in the spotlight, even if it's her appearance. As a result of that, she had sponsorship deals with McLadry LLP, TaylorMade slash Adidas, Canon, Michelob Ultra, Skycaddy, Payment Data Systems, MasterCard, Wing Golf Grips, Lake Las Vegas Resort, Pure Silk, Lexus, and EA Sports. Although Gulbis didn't win a tournament until her sixth season on tour, she placed sixth on the LPGA's earnings list for her fourth season with over $1 million in earnings in 2005. She reached the top 10 at four consecutive major championships, from the 2005 LPGA Championship to the 2006 Kraft Nabisco Championship. After Kraft Nabisco Championship in 2006, Gulbis began writing a monthly advisory column on FHM. Before I forget, in November 2005, a reality television show, The Natalie Gulbis Show, debuted on the Golf Channel. The show debuted its second season on October 18, 2006. Gulbis also appeared on the 2007 edition of EA Sports with Tiger Woods of PGA Tour, alongside pro Annika Sorenstam, Ian Poulter, and Luke Donald, among others. In August 2007, Gulbis appeared on the August-September cover of Sacktown magazine in an article describing the busy life of the rising star in terms of product launches and photography, however, not any professional win. Gil Ozer, vice president of marketing for Raymond Well, a luxury watch brand and one of Gulbis' endorsements quoted once she started winning, she doesn't stop, she's going to be a superstar. A few days later, Gulbis won the Evian Masters. It was her first professional win and it held in France, where she defeated Zhang Zhang in the knockout round. Gulbis Birdie put two putts on the first extra hole for a $450,000 winner's prize. Gulbis played for three US Solheim Cup. In 2005, 2007, and 2009 respectively. Also, in 2009, Gulbis appeared in the second season of Celebrity Apprentice. Throughout the season, each celebrity donated money to the charity of their choice. When it got to Gulbis' turn, she chose the Boys and Girls Club. Unfortunately, she was fired on April 19, 2009 during one of the episodes of the show. Still, she appeared on the April 28, 2009 episode of The Price is Right as the showcase subject. She also took part in a hole in one game to perform the game's inspirational hit. She appeared on Sports Jobs with Junior So, where So was caddy in the Pro-Am round for the Safeway Classic in Oregon. In 2010, she appeared in the 10th season of CSI, Crime Scene Investigation in episode 12 Long Ball. Gulbis also appeared in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit in 2012 wearing only one coat of body paint. 
Despite all of these accomplishments, Natalie's career took a hiatus in 2012 due to numerous injuries which hindered her performance on the course. In 2013, she came back from her hiatus but just almost immediately, Gulbis contacted Malaria during the HSBC Women's Champions Tournament in Singapore at the end of February 2013 and missed a tournament while recovering. In July 2013, she became engaged to Josh Rodermel, a former Yale University quarterback. They got married in December. In 2016, she spoke at the Republican National Convention in support of Donald Trump. In May 2018, President Donald Trump appointed Gulbis as a member of his Council on Sports, Fitness, and Nutrition. From all you have seen, it's obvious that Natalie Gulbis has had one of the best professional career as a female golfer that has been highly ranked since 2003. She won LPGA tournaments and was a part of Solheim Cup teams. In 2020, Gulbis announced she was retiring from professional golf. Since then, many persons have been wondering what has happened to her. Where is she now? The short answer is that Gulbis is still alive and well. She is currently residing in Las Vegas with her husband, Josh Rodermel. The two were married in 2013 and welcomed their first child in August of 2018. Natalie is still appearing as a co-host on the Sirius XM radio show The Sully and Josh Show. On the show, she and her husband discuss various topics such as sports, pop culture, and lifestyle. She is also very active in the charity scene. She created her own charity, the Gulbis 4 Kids Foundation, which provides support and resources to underprivileged women and children. Natalie is also an ambassador for Golf for the Cure which works to promote and support breast cancer awareness. On the golf course, Natalie is still playing but only in a limited capacity. When asked about her current golf plans, she told reporters that she is just playing for fun and not at a competitive level. She recently told US Magazine I don't have the same fire to win. I just take it shot by shot, hit some good shots and sometimes bad ones, but the most important thing is I'm still there enjoying it. Reporters also claimed that Gulbis is still very much interested in the game of golf. She has been spotted at various golf courses around the country and continues to be active in the pro-am circuit. In addition to playing golf for fun and appearing on Sirius XM Radio, Gulbis also does a variety of other projects. She sometimes appears on Fox Sports and Sirius as a studio analyst for golf and NCAA football. Natalie also does some modeling for various causes and products. She is also a popular spokesperson for companies such as Breakthrough Basketball. In the past, she's done endorsements for companies such as American Express and Nike. She also has done some work as an analyst for Fox Sports, and also worked on finishing her bachelor's degree at USC with an emphasis in entrepreneurship. What's more, Gulbis has focused her energy on building her brand and giving back to the community. She has appeared as a guest celebrity at various charity fundraisers, designed events for her sponsors, hosted instructional golf clinics, and is even completing a documentary about legendary golf instructor Harvey Penick. Her golf-themed clothing line has also become a popular choice amongst WAGs and by that I mean wives and girlfriends of professional golfers. In addition to her philanthropic work, Gulbis is also using her degree to open new business ventures, most recently a retail store that sells merchandise inspired by her own journey. It is clear that with or without golf, Gulbis is continuing to stay active and successful in her life. The story of Natalie Gulbis is an inspiring one owning to the fact that she has been able to transition from being a professional athlete to entrepreneur and businesswoman. Although she is no longer an active presence on the LPGA Tour, Natalie Gulbis has remained a beloved member of the golf community. It can definitely be said that Natalie Gulbis is still out there and doing great things. She's still involved in golf, the media, charities, and other projects. We all hope that someday she will join her peers on the tour once again even though it seems like her current focus appears to be elsewhere. You can keep up to date with her through her website or on her Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook accounts. We look forward to continuing to watch Natalie's journey and we can't wait to see what the future holds for her. With that being said, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.